I have beef with Jake Paul. I didn't think those words would be coming out of my mouth, but unfortunately they did. And I don't care to talk about it because that's a waste of my time. If you didn't see like 10 YouTubers talk about it, including KSI for some reason, thanks for the shout out by the way, but go ahead and research on your own time. I do think there's more important things you can educate yourself on. And as always, I'll link those in the description. I don't care for tea. I literally did not ask to be put into this drama. I paint. I talk to myself in this room all day. And of all people, Jake chose me. During Pride Month too, like the homophobia, I can't. <laughs> Anyways, hi Bidgets, my name is Fallopian Tube today. Y'all getting really creative with these nicknames, I swear to God. Last year for Pride Month, I made specifically LGBT themed videos for the whole entire month. And I'm not doing that this year because it seems as though every day I get more and more homophobic because y'all bitches on Instagram trying it. <laughs> yeah, every day I want to leave this community more and more because it's cringe. And since everyone keeps asking me about gay questions, I will make this video once and never again, unless I'm losing views. And I also got some Holo Taco in the mail. This is like one of the only merch I've ever bought from a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm gonna try to paint my nails black because I feel like I am naked today. I never really wore nail polish a lot. I started doing it in college and it felt really cool, except I really hate the feeling. I pick on my nails a lot, but if it's black, I don't because black nail polish makes me feel like a bad bitch. And I've also seen some comments from like 10 year olds asking me if I'm a girl or a boy. Listen, bitch. If I was a girl, I'd still have no attraction towards you. And I think it's time to normalize wearing nail polish as a male. If Julian Solomita gets to do it, bitch, I'm gonna do it. And to the 2% of straight males who end up watching this video if you're still offended by the title then wear nail polish prove that you're not a fragile male i dare you so i asked you guys on twitter ask me some questions and before i start answering them i want to preface this by saying to anyone who's ever dm me asking me for advice on how to come out and then proceeds to give me a whole diarrhea therapy talk i'm sorry I'm not a therapist, I'm 18 and I'm a college student. So that's why I don't give advice because you should talk to like a professional and I'll link hotlines below because they're truly important to use. All right, let's get started. Oh, and I'm not doing a close up of my nails because they're quite long and I don't wanna cure it today. I've been not able to grow my nails this long because I used to take piano and we're not allowed to have nails. Did you ever struggle with denying your sexuality? And if so, how did you get over it and accept yourself for who you are? That is an amazing amazing grammatically correct question. And to answer, yes, I did struggle a lot in eighth grade. That is when I learned what the word gay meant thanks to a Buzzfeed video. Oh shit, this really is one coat black. Are you kidding me? Christine, I love you. I'd say all of eighth grade, I struggled believing that I was. I see coming out as a three-step process. First step is realizing that you're not straight and it's about wanting a label. Like I wanna be labeled as straight. You wanna be seen by everyone as straight because you're not coming to terms with yourself yet. Second stage, is accepting that, yeah, I don't like girls. Sorry, ladies, boobs scare me. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I can't see the appeal. In the second stage, you've admitted to yourself that yes, I am not hetero. And your mind is just running around trying to find a label for itself because society says you need a label or else we don't know where to put you. And that's confusing to us. And we don't like being confused. That was around ninth grade for me where I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm bi. No, mm, sorry, I'm gay. And I just cared about having a label and the third stage, it can go two ways. You either mature and realize that labels are a product of society and it really does not matter who you like because I don't give a shit about that unless I'm going to date you. Or you don't mature and you turn a sexuality into a personality and that is the one trait you have given yourself. You are gay and you are loud. Date me or you're homophobic. <laughs> and to answer the second half of that question, how do you accept yourself? Time. I know y'all hate that word, but listen, I'm 18 years old, took my parents five years to get over it. And look where we are now. My dad lets me wear nail polish. You just need time to realize that it's it's not that big of a deal. I think nowadays people are more aware of what sexuality is, especially when you're younger. But because of that, you're even more confused. Like I can get people who are 10 years old asking me about it. Guys, I didn't know what sexuality was when I was 10. So like, I don't know what goes on through your mind. I bet it's not fun trying to figure out who you are already. But there are grown adults in their 30s who still don't know their sexuality. So I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't rush it. Also surround yourself with people who like you for who you are. That's a big thing. Is there a sexual fetish that is a deal breaker for you? Asian fetish. Did I lie? Did I lie? What do you think are some major possibilities and consequences to look out for when coming out? Well, there's always the consequence of if I come out, I could get kicked out of the house. And that definitely varies, which is why I can't tell you how to come out 
Cause I don't know your family like that, dude. Unfortunately, if you do want to come out, especially when you're younger, you know, you have to think like, what if it doesn't go the way I wanted it to? When I first came out, because I'm so delusional, I said to myself, my parents will 100% accept me. <laughs> you're an idiot, Frederick. <laughs> Thankfully, I talked to some other friends and they were like, our family will 100% take you in if your family doesn't choose to let you stay in their house. That didn't have to happen to me. If you're wondering the whole story, go back a year and a half and look at those videos. But technically, you never know what's going to happen until you do it. And don't do it unless you're ready. Do it on your own terms at the end of the day. Don't do it based on what anyone else says. And no one knows your family the most but yourself. So use your judgment. When you get into a relationship, do you think you'll make that a part of your channel like Jenna Marbles or keep it private like Bretman Rock? You are confident to say when. I have this thing in my head to my cancers out there, you can relate, where I feel like I'm cursed by who I date. And the moment I mention who I'm dating to anyone, it suddenly goes batshit crazy the next week. If I ever find a boyfriend, I'm keeping him to myself for as long as I can handle until I feel confident that I'm not gonna get a broken heart again. <laughs> I'm fine showing someone on my channel if they want to show themselves because being judged by an entire audience isn't for everyone. Some gays love the limelight. Some gays like being behind the camera. I can be both. So I don't care if he doesn't want to be on the channel. He will help me record. Don't get it twisted. When did I find out I was gay? Technically, I knew what gay was in eighth grade, but I've always known I like boys since first. I've always thought boys were cute since first grade, but I also thought girls were attractive because I think y'all pretty. Y'all really pretty. And that's why I was confused on whether or not I was bi in eighth grade. And then I realized your private parts are gross. I'm sure there's someone who will really appreciate it. It's just not me. So please stop asking me if I'll become straight. We're not gonna date, guys. It's not happening, girls, okay? I'm sorry, unsubscribe. What defines love in your eyes? What kind of philosopher question is this? <laughs> someone who appreciates you for who you are and your personality. If you got a shitty personality, it's not attractive. Sorry, TikTok gays, you're gonna have to do better than showing off your body. Also someone who's like emotionally available. You know, if you're not even like on the same level with me and I can't even talk to you without something getting twisted, bye. I got better shit to do. I gotta paint my nails, you know? What cartoon character would you date and why? I'm just gonna assume someone else is gonna ask like, what was your favorite cartoon crush or celebrity crush as a kid? I didn't really have celebrity crushes besides like Connor Franta because I only watched YouTube. Because my parents hated movies and film. I really can't remember because I didn't watch like human cartoons. I watched SpongeBob. Lee Shang, pretty good looking. Uh, kind of copied his look for a little. I think I'm doing pretty good so far, right? Oof. Black nail polish really brings out the bitch inside of you. Who was your sexual awakening? Why does this have 39 li- What is wrong with you guys? So if I could think about the one person that I looked at and then I realized, yeah, I'm gay. It's not a celebrity. It's someone who was at my school. How about that? Someone in ninth grade who I thought was very attractive, but I didn't think he was gay. I had my doubts about it. He broke up with his girlfriend and that's how we started talking because I was there to like, tell him, you're great. Like, don't worry about it. Nothing happened. But then I find out three years later that he turned out to be gay. Are you kidding? You could have had this in ninth grade, dude. Just saying. <laughs> Sometimes I need to shut up. How do you feel about cis straight people claiming they're part of the LGBT community when they're allies? I've always thought any help is good. And if you're straight and you are an ally, you go to pride festivals, you go to parades and protests, who says you can't be part of the community? Like there's no Lorax of the gays who says you shall not be in this. Think about celebrities like Lady Gaga and Taylor Swift who've like done so much for the community. Listen, you can be gay and also be against the community. It's possible. And I'll talk about it soon because I'm pretty sure there's another question coming up. How does your sister feel with the weight of your family's entire bloodline on her shoulders? Well, let's ask. She might be working so she might not pick up. Oh, she picked up. Someone wants to know, I'm doing a Q&A right now. How does it feel having the weight of our family's entire bloodline on your shoulders? Why? Because you're the only one who can have children, technically, biological. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Dad talks about it all the time, but I'm not gonna have kids until I find the right guy. There you go. There, that's her answer. Thank you. Love you. Love you too, bye. I could have biological children too, if I did a sperm donor, but that is money. And I got college to go through. Okay, I'm gonna try to do my other thumb, except this is really hard because left-handed is always worse. What are some things you'd change about gay dating culture? The idea that you have to hook up the moment you meet. Because stereotypically, we're so thirsty 
because there's no one in the community. Hookup culture, I'm kind of sick and tired of it. I can't do it because I'm not that type of person. And it seems as though everyone on Tinder is that type of person. So that's why I don't have Tinder and I'm forever single. How do you come out to your parents? How do you come out to your parents? How do you come out to your parents? Guys, uh, how do you feel in the LGBT community itself? I'm gonna assume you're saying like, how does I fit in the community? How do I feel about it? I kind of hate it <laughs> sometimes because there's a lot of homophobia inside the community itself, which makes absolutely zero sense to me. But we've all seen it. Every community has its bad people. And sometimes the bad people are popularized more than the actual good people. Lately, I feel like Drag Race done fucked up this community and that Black Lives Matter and the protests are messing with this community because some people don't like that they're protesting. Why aren't we celebrating Pride Month more? You know, those type of people. And all I want to say is, shh, please, shush. I don't think everyone has to be part of the community. I'd rather just be myself and like, not give a shit. Do I feel like YouTube is an LGBTQ friendly platform? I mean, it's not like all the videos that had gay in it have been demonetized at some point. Sometimes YouTube does this thing called performative activism, but it's definitely better than what it was before. I'll say that much. I'd say YouTube is Oh shit, nail polish is dripping. YouTube is one of the better ones. It's not terrible, but there's some stupid people out there who want to talk shit about you in the comments. And you know what? It doesn't matter if you're a bitch like me, because I can just be bitchier than them. <laughs> okay, I'm almost done with the first layer of black polish. For me doing this, like mid-air, not on a still table, that's pretty good, right? Like you can't tell me that isn't good. It's good. Delusion. <laughs> Do I believe in the concept of everyone being just a little bit gay? I think it's always funny to joke about it, but no. I think sometimes people try to confuse gay with feminine. God forbid a male show some form of femininity or else they'll be judged as gay. Think about Shawn Mendes and Harry Styles, like them just being themselves, their fans want to put them in the gay box to be like, oh my God, LGBT icon. And it definitely takes a toll on their mental health. Like if a straight guy chooses to wear nail polish, I don't think that means he's a little gay. I think it just means he's comfortable with his masculine and feminine side. And I think people need to figure out the difference between feminine and gay. <laughs> They're not interchangeable guys, okay? They don't fit like this. If you're a straight guy out there and you feel like you want to wear makeup, up, do skincare and maybe wear nail polish once or twice, then do it and be a proud straight guy. How do you feel about bi erasure? This is me saying once again, I hate this community because there are people who happen to be LGBT and take out the B, sometimes the T, sometimes L and A. I don't understand it, but then again, ignorant people are the worst thing in this world, especially ignorant people who think they're right. If you're bi, just know that I believe you exist. I feel like they have it worse and hear me out. You got to be attracted to not only one, but two genders. And I bet that fucks with your brain because you probably get tired of being attracted to a lot of people. You can technically be attracted to double the amount and then your friends pick on you for still being single because you technically get more chances than us so just know i believe you exist there's other people that believe you exist and i am borderline homophobic against this community at this point why are you gay <laughs> what's your opinion on how well lgbt are represented in shows and cartoons and what would you like to see in shows that are open to having lgbt characters before i answer this question i like it to make it clear that if you are one of these people if you are a kyle who thinks you're being oppressed when you're straight and white just know that I deal with heterosexual shit every day of my life on TV and I don't call y'all out on the cringy love movies during Christmas so please stop talking. Also he deleted the tweet right after. I think the representation we have in TV and film, obviously you have stereotypes attached to every label out there and I don't mean sexuality, I mean like every race has a stereotype too. So the characters who do happen to be gay sometimes get put under that umbrella but I think movies like Love, Simon, even though I believe that coming out was way too happy and he's a lucky boy, there's a different like he is a guy who happens to be gay and the movie isn't just screaming like gay 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 I don't care for that. I don't think you should have to shove a gay character into your show if it doesn't fit Don't pull a JK Rowling on Harry Potter type of move, okay? Like Steven Universe besides having 80% filler episodes is a great show for kids to learn and watch I'm gonna start putting my top coat on by the way I keep seeing a bunch of people asking me like how do you get everyone to know you're gay? And I'm gonna ask you why do you care if everyone knows you're gay? I think coming out has changed in the past five years. Like back in 2015, do you remember Tyler Oakley, Joey Graceffa, and like every awesome YouTuber coming out? Those are the people who inspired me, by the way. Like they had the courage to show everyone in their audience 
who they are. They didn't have to, and it shouldn't matter because it doesn't change who they are. And I think people nowadays, especially younger people who want to come out, because you've seen it happen so much in media and in movies and TV shows and YouTube, I feel like you guys are pressuring yourself to come out. And I just want to say, it really doesn't matter. No one needs to know but you at the end of the day. You don't even have to know yet. Sexuality is fluid. Just let it do its thing and course through life, guys. You don't have to rush it. Chill. It's okay. You got plenty of years to figure out how you want to do it. Did the underwear section hit different as a kid? You fucks. <laughs> Yes, it did. How did you cope with people knowing your sexuality in high school? Did you tell someone that told everyone else? I didn't announce it to everyone. I think people just knew. And you know what? Sure, let them know. Let's work for me, I don't have to say it. Like, that's how I think about it. I don't care if people know or don't know. If you find out, great. If you don't like it, cool. No one really cared anyways in high school. I think they just saw me as me. Cause when I moved high schools, I didn't like go in there screaming I'm gay. People just assumed I was because I showed up looking like this. How have you grown as a person after coming out? Literally nothing faces me. I don't care how rude you are to me. I don't care if you think you're gonna make me cry. The only person that makes me cry is me. So good luck. <laughs> yeah, just give me a tougher skin because like you go through trauma, you come out of it, you're stronger. How do you deal with people not accepting you? I think you guys need to care less about people and more about yourself. <laughs> if you live in a progressive country, it's easier to be gay than like Asia. And I feel like everyone wants to be a people pleaser, like, of course you do. It's normal to want people to like you, but it's also normal for people to hate you. I'm on YouTube, I see the dislikes all the time, like, I know people won't like me. I'll get a hate comment once or twice a day, like, yeah, it's a reality. And I saw this tweet before, I'm gonna use it. Say you have $80,000 in the bank, and someone happens to steal $1 of it. Does that ruin the rest of the money? No, you still got $79,999. And to me, that philosophy can be put into your daily life. You know, if one second of your day is ruined because you know that someone doesn't like you. Does that ruin the rest of your day? The other hours you have? The other friends that you've had? The other people who accept you? No. So don't give a fuck. Stop giving fucks 2020. That's my new motto. I am a firm believer that if you love yourself enough, no one else can upset you because you've gone to that level of delusion. And I love that. Did coming out affect your relation with your closest friend slash friend group? Surprisingly, no, because when I lived in South Carolina, I thought like, there's gotta be someone who hates me, right? Some friend isn't gonna be my friend anymore. For some people, it took them like a month to get used to. You know, obviously it's new to them, especially in ninth grade. Like not everyone knew what gay was back then. It was taboo when I was in ninth grade, but everyone accepted me and it's because it's they were all girls, okay? I'll admit it. I had a lot of girl space friends. If anything, I assumed that my straight guy friends that I had wouldn't like me, so I just didn't hang out with them. And then I found out next year that they were like, yeah, we don't care, Frederick. I had a Catholic Asian straight friend. So I went to that assumption like, yeah, he was not gonna like me, but he didn't care. So don't doubt yourself so much. This generation is way more accepting. What do you think is the biggest misconception being a part of the LGBT community? That I'm a part of it. No, that everyone in the community is accepting of each other. To the conservative gays, I'm watching you. I'm truly watching you. How do you personally start a conversation with a boy? Maybe it'll also work on a girl. Listen, Kurtz, if I truly knew, I would have a boyfriend by now, but I don't. So I don't have any advice for you. How about you guys let me know? Have you ever gotten straight men to trick you? No, but I have tricked a straight girl <laughs> into thinking I was straight. How do I get my family to not call me by my dead name? Anyone who doesn't know what that means, correct me if I'm wrong. When you are transgender and you transition from one gender to the other, you typically change your name to fit that gender. And your original name is considered the dead name. Honestly, if they're gonna be petty like that, be petty back. So call them by their maiden name. <laughs> something that'll get them to understand what it's like in your shoes. Call them something that'll make them uncomfortable and maybe they'll understand. But I'm not responsible if you get in trouble. Oh, this polish is so smooth because of the top coat. I love it. Do you have that one pic when you were in the closet that says, how did they not know? I'd actually say I don't because I didn't really dress the part. It was more my personality as a whole. My sister said it's something in my eyes, apparently. I don't know. I was the guy who played with these products and wore a silk dress to go to sleep because honestly, Guys, that silk dress was the most comfortable shit I've ever worn and I wish everyone's underwear was silk. All right, I only have this side and then I'm done. Was there some girls before that you dated but didn't have an attraction to? It was more like I thought I would date them because I did think they were cute, but they didn't like me back. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Oh my God, I hate saying that. The first person I ever confessed my crush to rejected me. She knew I was gay before I did, that's why. And we're still friends. The second person I took to eighth grade dance. I did like her, I didn't think she knew that. Uh, until I gave her a hug when she was walking back to her mom's car. But I never asked her out and we're still friends. And then the last person, she was in my piano class. We were sort of friends at the time, but I was more close with her best friend. So I asked her best friend, 
hey, could you give her this note? And it was a love letter and it said verbatim, you're emo, I'm emo, we should date. <laughs> You like Stranger Things, I like Stranger Things, we should date. Like some stupid shit like that that I wrote as a ninth grade boy. Of course I would get rejected, but two months later, she was the first person I came out to. So it's fine. Sometimes the people you like become your best friend, but it never happened if it was a guy. Do you feel pressure to look a certain way because of the standards most people in the gay community put as the ideal or desirable look? There is no ideal or desirable look in my mind. Just don't look stupid, God. It. While I do understand like the stereotypes that are given to people like the gay voice, the butch lesbian, the flamboyant gay, I think a lot of people suddenly think those are the only types you can be and it's just not it. Like you can dress however you want. I personally hate stereotypes so maybe that's just me. What made you turn out this way? Just don't hope my young ones to- <laughs> What? What made you turn out this way? Just don't hope my young ones don't turn out to be like you. Chris, that's a run-on sentence and it has two contractions. And I would say the same thing to you. I don't want my kids to turn out like that. I'm gonna make sure my kids get my hair jeans. But do you see how to combat haters, guys? Just be more petty, okay? Watch some Drag Race episodes. You'll learn how to read people. Have you ever been annoyed by the stereotypes that are associated with being gay or part of the LGBTQ community? Oh, I wonder, have I? There's a lot, but I guess the one that bugs me the most is this idea that two gay men, when they're together, have to have a feminine and a masculine one. I've seen straight couples, and the guy does not wear the pants at all. You know what I mean. So it really shouldn't matter for non-hetero couples. Are you still not gonna look for a nice caring guy for you? You really do deserve it. I know I deserve it, but I don't wanna look. They can come to me, I'm done looking, I'm tired of it, and I got better shit to do with my life. And I'm gonna end on that high note while I still feel good about myself. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos every week, turn on my notifications, or I'm gonna hit you in your sleep. Social medias are all that midget agent, and as always, I love you guys, and everything is less than three. Now, with black nail polish. Yeah! Thank you, Christine, for unleashing this devil inside of me.